is a really important day and even more so for you guys today after launching your initiative yesterday. Tell me about how it was received in the last 24 hours since the news broke. It's been received wonderfully. I mean, listen, women want to join our army and our mission because they don't want to be silenced anymore. And non-disclosure agreements and confidentiality provisions do just that. Um, women have been awakened over the last three and a half years, and we're excited for them to join our army of Lift Our Voices. And tell me what it's been like to work with Gretchen on this. Well, it's amazing. Gretchen and I worked together, obviously, at Fox News a long time ago, but she's been such an inspiration to me and to so many other women. Um, she really launched the Me Too movement, somebody who took the plunge without a parachute before anybody knew how it was going to turn out, and so her bravery, I think, is something that we need to emulate. Women across the board, that's why we really started this, to show people that they can speak up, that we can give voice to the voiceless, and that following in Gretchen's footsteps, people are able to have a life after they speak up about toxic work environment. You know, I was at the bombshell premiere last night, so it was all Fox News for me the last 24 hours. Um, so sorry. Yeah. No, it's, it's great. It's great because it's just... The real, this, these are the real people who are portrayed in the movie. So and, and, you know, we can't participate in it. And so our response to movies like Bombshell and projects that we can't participate in is lift our voices. Is we were silenced from participating in projects that are about us. But we don't want any other women to ever have to go through that ever again. And that's why we've launched this initiative. We do not want other women to be silenced for not being able to stand up and say, well, that's not really how that happened, and that's really not how that happened. But this is the real story. Every woman should have the right to do that. So well said. Um, and a lot of people were talking about NDAs last night because of you guys. So uh, you really inspired a lot of that last night and also with the film. You know, I have to ask you, too, you're here to present to Ronan Farrow. What has his reporting meant to you? Well, we're actually kind of two peas in a pod. <laughs> I mean, we, we both are whistleblowers, and there's almost this immediate friendship that we have over that. Um, it takes a lot of bravery to take on tough topics. And, um, you know, I interviewed him in Chicago about his book, and I'm really looking forward to presenting him with this award that he so deserves.